Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. Out here doing a little exploratory riding. That's right. I'm heading out to Matokwa or Matakwa. I'm just gonna call it Matakwa. I'm sure it's pronounced another way, but it's gonna work for me. Been on the road for about 18, 17 miles on the dirt. Matokwa is um, it's right around here. I think it's agricultural, not too much. Uh, I might take a ride there and have a look, but I'm actually wanna go out to the Slaughter Creek and continue on into an area I've never been to called Dock Pass Wilderness. So I don't know anything about the area. It looked pretty cool when I was checking out a map right out there. I want to ride into what's called Horse Canyon. And I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about it. I've never been out there. And that's in the Dock Pass Wilderness. Thought I'd come out and have a look. It's later September. Cool, but warm. Not miserably hot. So good day for riding i am by myself um so i gotta kind of take it somewhat easy but i did leave an itinerary and where i was going with gin so someone does know where i am and in the event of something terrible happens i do have a device i've got a garmin in reach so i can um well if i'm conscious that is <laughs> i can get a message out saying uh what's going on so that's cool because there is no service back here Kind of close to the uh, Utah Nevada border in southwestern Utah here. If that made any sense what I just said. Close to the border. And uh, I'm on my XT250, Yamaha XT250. We be riding, it's been good. We've got a backpack bungee to the back of it here. In that backpack, I've got shoes, approach shoes, uh, more water, food, all the necessary things to get me out of here and survivor night or something if I have to. If I gotta walk for a while, I can tell you what, I'm not walking in these. Nope, that's why I brought shoes. So that's the plan. I'm gonna head out and see what we run into. It's a beautiful day. Let's ride and see what happens. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out. All right, let's go. So I'm not exactly sure how far I'm going. I wanna try and keep it maybe at back to St. George from this area round trip at 100 miles or so i didn't bring a spare gas tank because uh the one i have um i was i had it on the bike when i wrecked up in the kaibab and i think i i damaged the tank somehow so gas leaks whenever i turn it any which way so it's useless now but the bike will go you know i kept the speeds at 30 or below on the dirt here and uh that's what i'll stick at so easy 100 miles no problems with spare with spare gas Shouldn't be a problem. Like I said, I'm taking it kind of slow because it is actually, it's a Saturday morning as we're going in the afternoon and uh, people are out in the side-by-sides, trucks, they haul butt through the roads here. So I definitely don't want to end up on someone's um, hood. So I'm just taking it, taking it easy. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's ride. All right, well, from St. George to this point, I've already gone 25 miles. another 25 miles to get into uh forest canyon so gas wise i believe i'll be fine to get back into st george and beautiful day beautiful day for a ride This is 
been interesting so far. Ooh, I didn't realize there's that big of a community out here. Pretty interesting. Alright, I'm at a fork. I'm presuming I'm going to stay left. Slaughter Creek straight ahead. Yeah. I think off to the right that might give me middle ridge enclosure. Wow. All kinds of stuff to do out here. Okay, well, I'm officially in. I just checked my track. And I'm officially in the Dock Pass Wilderness now, and I'm entering Horse Canyon. So, we're here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in a canyon. And this thing continues on through the wilderness area. But there's also another road that branches off and stops at something called Deep Canyon. Oh, there's water down there. Running Creek. Check that out. Huh. I'm not so sure if I want to leave the bike in the middle of the road right here. Well, welcome to Horse Canyon and Dock Pass Wilderness. Definitely some things I'd like to explore right up there. But not till it gets cold. It looks like it'd be infested with rattlesnakes. Interesting. Big old tarantula hot. back here but there's a creek blowing creek running through this horse canyon and there's a few residences so I mean if something did happen you know you can always knock on someone's door that's kind of cool to know although they probably wouldn't be too happy to see you The hell? Oh, almost made it to the water. I was hoping I wouldn't wreck my bike today. Dang, I hit pretty good on that one. Yeah. A rock lodge in the clutch there. Dang. Well, I mean, this happens, you know. Okay, that's a little rise. That's good. Take a break for a second. This is like a good spot to do it. Oh man. 
clutch is all pushed up into the hand. Oh, man, what a mess. <clears throat> oh, man, I smacked my elbow good too. Dang, I hit pretty good on that one. I don't know what happened. I came, I was looking at the water, pool of water. I turned my head and there was a clump of dirt in the middle and it was loose and it hit the front wheel and knocked it sideways and, well, you saw what happened. I ate it. Dang it, I split my elbow open. Uh, that sucks. My clutch is up here. I gotta push that back down. All right, that's good. Got that back down. Good Lord, is that right? Well, not quite, but that'll work. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Dang, split it right open. Well, this is a nice spot to uh, kick it for a second. Oh, I can actually have a little swing too, if I like. <laughs> man, God dang, I ate, I ate it, man. Woo! Well, that's what happens when you're not paying attention. Just took one second to look over at the dang pond and that was it. Face full of dirt. I don't think I messed up the bike at all. Seems to be all right. There's nothing leaking out of it. Clutch is pushed back in a decent position. Man, my elbow's killing me though. Hmm. All right, well, you know, that's adventure for you, right? I hope it doesn't break. Oh yeah, here we go. That's not very comfortable. Ow. Well, Horse Canyon. It's pretty cool. I think it's time for a little lunch. Whew. There you have it. There's the adventure for the day, huh? Jeez. Oh yeah, that'll work. Well, we'll grab something to eat. I'm gonna ride Horse Canyon up a little bit farther, see what happens. I've just finished an incredibly delicious bologna sandwich and uh, just checking out the map here. And I'm gonna continue on Horse Canyon for a ways. Looks like uh, the road's gonna fork again, a big fork. And I'm gonna stay right and that'll stop me at what's called Deep Canyon. But beyond Deep Canyon, like to the north, I don't know if this is even picking it up camera-wise. looks like it is. There's Deep Canyon. Road stops down there. Dock Pass Canyon. And then the Narrows. This looks like something that needs to be explored. <clears throat> For sure. up there. 
rugged, man. I'm rugged. Gorge Crossing. Pretty cool. Interesting rock formations. I'll definitely be back to uh, do some hiking in this area. Got to figure out where the, there's lots of private property back here, so. But I think off, off to my left here, that's all wilderness area. So no worries there. Appears that uh, I'm still on the road, so to speak. Yeah, I'm not gonna call this a road. Okay, well, I guess uh, yeah, that looks pretty gnarly right there, man. Mm. Well, I was in the mood for some adventure, and let me tell you, I think I got it in Horse Canyon here in uh, Dock Pass Wilderness. So, at <laughs> this point, uh, it looks like I'd just be riding in the water, or I don't know, is it? I can't even see around that bend. 
I'm just getting deeper and deeper back here. And, oh, well, you know, it might be time to turn back. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Looks like it just gets gnarly through there, so. I don't know, maybe I'll ride up and have a look. <laughs> well, there's small fish in this uh, creek here. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna risk ride down a little bit and see what what is what. Hopefully there's no like really deep pools. Well, there's some sizable fish in there. That. Oh, my pool. Okay. I don't know. This looks like it's just going to get more and more gnarly. I don't want to drop the bike in the middle of the creek. <laughs> Oh, that'll be a new one. All right. Horse Canyon, yeah, for sure. I'll say it's dope, but uh, I think I'd like to have someone with me at this point to keep going, so. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. It's already early afternoon now, so. Let's see if we can get out of here without any issues oh, oh lordy too much fun
off the dirt. Made it out, back to the highway, all right. I need, to I need to drink of water. That's warmed up for sure. All right, I'm on my way back to St. George and let's see here. Thus far, I'm right at 59 miles. So by the time I get back, it'll be 65 miles or so round trip. It's not bad, it's a pretty good day. Man, well, there you have it. Horse Canyon, Duck Pass Wilderness, Southwestern Utah. Pretty dope, I'd say. Absolutely. Gets pretty gnarly up in there, though. But uh, aside from the wreck, man, that was a pretty fun ride. So, folks, thanks for watching. Thank you to the subscribers. Thanks to the patrons. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.